Addressing your audience pain points is not enough. The hyper focus on pain points in sales and marketing can be misleading. First of all, pain points are not content. They can help you create relevant and aligned content, but it's only a small part of the equation. There is a primary counterpoint to addressing your audience pain points, and it is addressing their dreams, goals, and aspirations. Hi, I am Natasha Guillot. I am a content strategist and video consultant, and I help women decision makers and founders reclaim their sovereignty to create aligned impact, including through their messaging and content marketing. You will find the link to my content marketing and video consulting service in the description below, and I look forward to supporting you. Before we dive into three reasons why addressing audience pain points is not enough, let's start by talking about why addressing your audience pain points is important. First of all, understanding your audience pain points is a key element of identifying your ideal client. Understanding your audience pain points also help you create relevant offers, whether it is services, products, or a mix of both. After all, you want to make sure that your offers are something that your audience needs. Finally, it helps you communicate clearly the types of results that your clients can expect when they work with you. As such, it creates clear expectations for all parties involved, and it applies whether your clients are prospective or returning ones. The first reason why addressing your audience pain point is not enough is that the hyper-focus solely on that part of the equation is bro culture galore. And I am not here for this bullshit. And I know a lot of other soulful entrepreneurs are in the same boat. There are multiple problems with this hyper-focus of everything about the pain point and agitating the pain point, which I absolutely hate. Like, when I started as an entrepreneur, of course, I kind of went for it and learned how to do it, but it always felt wrong. And it's not a problem for me to sell or talk about how I can help others in tangible ways, but the whole pain points, pain points, pain points, ugh, it's often really baked into fear-based tactics, and I cannot stand that. Like, we are all adults here. Can we just behave like adults and trust your ideal client to do what is right for them? It's one thing, you know, to expose like, hey, here's the tangible result you can get to address X, Y, Z pain point. We don't need to do that in a way that infantilizes people. Most of the time, it really plays on power dynamics when it does not have to. Of course, you're the expert and your client needs to work with you because you can help them accomplish something but also it doesn't mean that your client has no value. On the contrary, and it also doesn't mean they have nothing to teach you. But that's a conversation for another day. The second issue I see with this hyper-focus on pain points, pain points, pain points in every part of your marketing and sales is that it lacks long-term vision. Like seriously, it always feels like it's this reductive way of how can help you with that one thing. And don't get me wrong, it is important that we are clear about how we help our clients, no matter the industry, no matter the type of offers we have. But at the same time, it's like, sure, we're helping you with that one thing, which is a current problem. But what are you excited about? What are your goals? What are your freaking dreams? You know, how is getting them unstuck in that very specific issue and situation is going to help them accomplish their goal and bring their big vision to life. Like, how is it going to impact their life? Because you also want to bring some optimism there. And I will also say that most of the time when we're really like, we are the problem solver, there can be, you know, playing into that power dynamics I was talking about is that we don't always leave the main character energy to our clients. Well, when we are focusing not only on pain points, but also on aspiration. So it's like, okay, we're going to solve that now. So you can accomplish X, Y, Z, you know, right after or even further down the line. That really position us as a guide more than a savior. And that can really give that wonderful and scrumptious main character energy on our clients, on our audience, and I am here for it. And the third reason why focusing solely on pain points or, you know, at 90% on pain points is problematic is that it tends to feel all doom and gloom. Like life is stressful enough as it is, you know, it's, we don't need to pile up on that and feel even less than just 
for marketing reasons and to use scarcity or fear-based tactics to get us to spend money. I am all for investing in ourselves in various shape or form, whether it is time, money, a combination of both. But there is a big difference between feeling seen and validated in the issues we are currently dealing with and then basically having somebody belittle us, mind-explain stuff to us, or just be outright condescending because a lot of this messaging kind of comes across like that. Even under a veneer of like, oh, I will help you solve this problem. But in the end, like the way you're agitating pain points, it really is frustrating. And also it can make the client feel bad when they don't need to. And I don't see the point of doing that. I hate when people do that to me. And I don't see why we do that to other people. Again, can we have a constructive discussion? as functional adults. When you blend, you know, the pain points and the long-term vision, that can bring a more hopeful and even joyful message to your audience. You want people to be excited to work with you, not just being like, oh, my life is horrible. I need you to teach me all your ways because apparently I don't know how to do anything, which sometimes these messages can really come across as. So why don't we bring everything together in a more empowering and joyful way? Because we can all use some more hope and some more joy in our lives. So that's it for today. We discuss why addressing your audience pain points is not enough and why bringing in their aspirations and dreams can make a world of difference in creating a more enjoyable and empowering collaboration. And if you're looking for done for you or done with you content marketing and video consulting services that avoid broker and cookie cutter solutions, I will leave the link to my website in the comments below. And until next time, I wish you all a magical week.